So who's joining us at Oshkosh this year in a couple weeks? Oh, our second Oshkosh together? I wonder what kind of trouble we're going to get into. Stay tuned. Hope to see everyone there. You ready to spend some money? Some money? The most expensive week of the year is almost here. Oshkosh 21 sure cost us a little bit of money. How, yeah. much, how much worse could it get with Oshkosh 2022? Quite a bit worse. So we're getting in the final uh, stages of packing everything up or starting to pack. Okay, we haven't started packing yet, but we will. We promise we'll pack. Loading everything up, heading up north, maybe driving this year, maybe flying. I've, uh, since what, Oshkosh 2016, I've always flown in on the Fisk approach. But this year we might be driving the Fisk approach uh, in our new electric F-150 uh, Lightning. It's gonna be kind of exciting. I'm looking forward to the electricity at the campsite. It's gonna come down to the wire if they can deliver our new truck to us right before Oshkosh or not. So it's gonna be a exciting adventure, but it did get built off the factory line as of June 30th. Uh, delivery date is currently scheduled for after Oshkosh, but everyone seems to be getting it significantly earlier than their estimated delivery date. So we'll see if we get our F-150 Lightning and 9.7 kilowatt hours of electricity at the campsite. So when we go to Oshkosh, we camp in Camp Scholler, a place called Camp Bacon with a lot of our aviation friends and family that we see every year that we go up to Oshkosh. So if you're in Camp Scholler, look us up, uh, stop by Camp Bacon. Uh, not really sure where we're gonna be this year. It's been up in the air the last couple of years. So what'd you buy last year at Oshkosh? Aviation for a lifetime. Aviation for a lifetime, and it feels that way with the build so far. But yeah, last year, well, she first made the decision that we were going to build the RV-14A. And um, then I decided I was going to get my pilot's license. And we're making progress on both. So uh, stay tuned for more. Um, just waiting for the temperatures to drop before you kind of resume your flight training. Yeah, it's kind of miserable out there yeah, right it's, now. Uh, flying in the texas heat and record-breaking heat that we have it's just it's not that much fun so at oshkosh this year um what did you want to do wednesday night oh let's have a rv 14a builders meetup not at night i think i want to do it around lunchtime because it's also the same night as the night air show yep so uh lunchtime wednesday stay tuned to the facebook groups and uh the comments on this video, we'll, we'll try to update both and see when and where we can meet up. Uh, you know, we're the the Yards November 14 Victor Echo. We don't plan anything well, so uh, but we'll 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 get it set up and uh, <clears throat> really look forward to meeting a whole bunch of people. Uh, yeah. uh, other than that, I'm doing two forums uh, around flying clubs. So as some of you may know, Pilot Partner is a company that I run uh, that helps uh, make flying clubs easier. It's electronic pilot logbook software integrated to fleet management, um, automate your 
uh, Flying Club through invoice and flight track and maintenance track and scheduling all in one stop really makes life easy. So Monday at 2.30 p.m. Uh, form Classroom Charlie, we will be having a form on how to run a flying club where we're going to go into nitty gritty details of how a flying club actually runs. And we're not talking about this AOPA, EAA, high level, you should do a flying club. And uh, they put out great content and great forms, but it lacks in details. So we're going to go deep dive in the details using some of the flying clubs I'm currently running and have ran in the past as examples of how do you actually pay for maintenance? How do you organize things? How are, what does the presidents and maintenance officers and secretaries do in the club? Uh, should be quite a, quite a bit of fun. Then on Friday at 1130 is how to automate your flying club. And this is all about using the pilot partner, all about using the pilot partner software to automate your flying club and really make running a flying club easy and how you can spend five minutes a month managing all the invoicing and payments for your flying club instead of the 15 to 20 hours a month that I've seen it take a lot of clubs. So join us on Monday at 2.30 and again at a, uh, Friday at 11.30 uh, for our forums. Yeah, I can tell you how it's really getting done. Yes, it's been fun. I've been doing forums at Oshkosh for five, Oshkosh is in a row now. I keep saying years in a row, but we skipped 2021. 2020. 20, 2020. The years get all mixed up. Well, we skipped a year and it messes everything up, but um, really looking forward to getting back. Uh, second year in a row since uh, the pandemic and your second Oshkosh. Yes. As it relates to our RV14, we've got, we got some objectives. What are we going to do at Oshkosh? We're going to do lots of shopping. Lots of shopping. And lots of research. So we have some decisions to make. Um, one of the great things about building an, an experimental aircraft in general, but a van's uh, aircraft specifically, is there's some customizations you get to do. Yes. So far, we know we're adding the smoke system. We got the smoke system. We got the smoke system. Uh, I haven't actually plumbed or installed anything yet, but we're getting closer to where we might do that. Yeah. Um, but our first stop is going to be the van's booth. Gotta go say hey to the peeps. Yep. So when we come away from Oshkosh, we want to have our finished kit on order. Um, I don't know if we'll get a show discount or not, but it, it, the, the discount isn't what's driving us. It's actually talking to people because what we understand is the finished kit is the most customizable or the one that people tend to customize. Yes. We're pretty sure we don't want the stock seats. No, we're going to get new seats. Um, we're definitely going to talk with like homing while we're there. Yes. And the, we've been looking at the different options for the canopy latch. Yep. So uh, we've been one of the first, uh, RV 14s we flew in the, uh, owner told us, showed us this secondary latch that he had for the canopy. Um, the canopy coming open is a very rare thing, but if it were to happen, it's pretty much unrecoverable. So put in a second latch on there sounds good. Uh, but the seat, so we're gonna track down, um, I think there's a couple different options of people who make seats and uh, most likely they'll be at Oshkosh, who, who isn't. Um, so we're gonna decide on the seats, uh, probably get orders placed um, so that they'll start arriving, start removing that from the finish kit. Yeah. And we're gonna see what other options um, that we're gonna remove from the finish kit. Uh, brakes is one that we've yeah. discussed and talked about going with the Behringer brake Behringer upgrade. Um, I want to look for an air conditioning unit for an RV. I mean, it would be lovely, but I just, I don't see it happening. I mean, the one we have in the Bonanza, it's, it's cool. It's nice to have. Yep. The one in the Bonanza didn't, didn't operate as well as it should have for a lot of different reasons. Um, definitely thankful that we had it, but it, I think in the RV, we're gonna have a much better time because the Bonanza, it, it just leaked so much air. 
from the outside that no matter how good the air conditioner was working, you had so much lukewarm air coming in that just overpowered the air conditioner. Mm -hmm. um, with the canopy being as clear as it is, even in mild days, having the air conditioner really for when you're on the ground and first getting up to altitude, We'll see what trade-offs there are. Uh, weight and balance, weight, uh, electricity. There's a lot of different trade-offs with, um, but just a little something to take the edge off, I think will go a long way. We'll see what option, when Oshkosh, it's the place to go ask these questions and see what you have. Yeah. Who are you most excited about talking to this upcoming Osh? Uh, Bands Aircraft, definitely. One of my goals of Oshkosh is I wanna have Greg Hughes, president of Vans Aircraft on our channel, sit down and I wanna discuss our build and our everything that we're doing. Uh, I want to get uh, Mike from Cleveland Tools on the channel. Uh, his YouTube videos have been fantastic and uh, we've bought a lot of tools from Cleveland Tools. Uh, we've just learned a lot about how to use tools that we either inherited or bought from them. Uh, their videos are great, learned a lot. Uh, so really hope to meet with a lot of these different people that we've looked up to since we've started this channel and started this build. Um, Lycoming is a big one that I'm looking forward to sitting down. We placed our engine order, uh, IO390 uh, Thunderbolt. We placed our engine order right before the price increase, but I don't know what options we chose, what options we want, so I'm really looking forward to sitting down in their booth, going over in detail, uh, tweaking our order. Uh, our, our name hasn't come up yet, so they haven't called us to start the build yet. So still, fingers crossed, a year plus out from the engine coming because engine's not gonna fit on this anytime soon. So uh, Lycoming's a big one. Uh, who else do we want to talk to? Uh, avionics. Mm. What kind of avionics are we so going with? Well, we're doing Garmin. All Garmin. All Garmin, but um, Midwestern and Stein Air. Midwest Panel Builders and Stein Midwest. Air are the two options that we've talked to and got quotes from both. Um, and we're gonna kind of weigh the pros and cons of both. I think from what I've seen so far, both are great options. Um, yeah. I think they, the more I think about the avionics, the more I think having someone who's built wiring harnesses and plugging these pieces of equipment together for multiple vans aircraft and multiple different experimental aircraft they're going to do a quicker job better for less money maybe not less money time is money time is money so i think we're leaning towards uh really going uh, getting significant help on the avionics wire and I still want enough to be done so that we, we still get the experience of assembling it, experience tweaking the programming, but having it pre-programmed mostly. Uh, but we're going all in. Um, electronic circuit breakers. So we'll be checking the voltage and the circuit breakers on the G3X. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not currently thinking we're going to do the uh, push button start i think we'll, we'll push to start yeah i think we might leave, uh, stick with the key um but we're gonna fine tune that um i hope we walk away from oshkosh 2022 with everything ordered that we need i mean every big thing yeah so we're in line uh, we've got dates for when things are going to come so we can predict. I think our build schedule's been going pretty steady. Mm -hmm. So I think we're ready to make the leap, get the final kits on order. Our wings show up um, probably April or May of 2023, uh, quick build wings. So we'll be ready to start putting this together um, end of next year. You know what I want to do? I'm going to go talk to the people at Evoke and get us on the list so that when it's time to paint this beauty, we're good to go. You don't like silver? I, I mean... Silver was your girl's best friend. Oh, it's diamonds. Tungsten. Tungsten. <laughs> I think the only thing she likes more than the wedding ring, that an engagement ring that I bought her was the nice tungsten buck and bar set. So... And guys, invest in your wife, tungsten. 
the way to go. Um, but yeah, Evoke, uh, we had a phone call with them. Um, you know, if you want to save every penny you can, go paint it yourself. But if you want to invest money where it counts and have a paint job that's going to look brilliant and last for a long, long time, you know, I, Evoke is looking like uh, a choice that we're interested in uh, to see. But you don't just call them up and say, I want to bring the plane next week and they'll paint it. Uh, plan 12 to 18 months ahead. Mm -hmm. So we're going to find out the details on that. Maybe put a deposit down on that and get um, on the list. Get on the list. Uh, so, yeah, a lot to do this Oshkosh. Yeah, Good. it's going to be busy. Yep. Uh, and don't forget daily air shows and night air shows and food and random parties and fun stuff. Uh, it's 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 going to be it's going to be action packed. Yes, it is. Looking for it. We will be up there all week. Uh, Find us on social media, on the Pilot Partner Facebook page. Uh, find us on comments on this YouTube channel. Reach out to us, we'd love to see you. We've got a, a whole bunch, about 100 Pilot Partner t-shirts. that uh, We always like giving out t-shirts at Oshkosh. Uh, but come find us, hang out, and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone at Oshkosh 2022. It's gonna be fun.